Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingersFlyShop.com. Bringing you another tie-in video this week, and uh, it's a simple nymph pattern. One that I've actually never fished before, but I saw in one of my books and thought looked really cool and figured I want to give it a try this year. Um, it's a beadhead crystal serendipity. It's a twist on the serendipity fly, uh, using a bead and of course not antron for a body, but some flash and uh, just a flashy looking fly, so it fits into my wheelhouse. So, got a question for you guys. Drop a comment down here. Have you ever fished the serendipity pattern? How did it work for you? Or this pattern? And how did it work for you? And what do you think it imitates when you're fishing? I want it for a midge. We have black fly larvae in our area that uh, one of the streams has a lot of it. I fish it a lot. And I think if I tie this down in 18s and 20s, it's gonna be killer for that black fly larva pattern. And uh, so that's what I'm gonna use it for. Tell me what you use it for and uh, if it works for you or if it doesn't work for you. But anyways, guys, here you're gonna see a picture of the fly and then the material list to tie it. All right, here we see the crystal serendipity in the vise, easy pattern. Let's get into tying it. For a hook, I'm using a fire hole 315. You could use 316s here too, that's a good one. Or uh, Daiichi 1120 would be a good one. Tying this in a size 16 for a bead. I'm using a tungsten bead. This is Nickel Keller 2.4 millimeter from Nature Spirit. For thread, I'm using some 12 watt nano silk from Semperfly, and uh, this is white. We're just gonna get that thread started on there and get it wrapped around the hook. Next thing I'm gonna add is, I'm gonna add about two or three strands of Flashaboo, and this is Pearl Flashaboo. I'm just gonna get that tied on here. I tie it on the side closest to me, tie it on whatever, on top, wherever you like it. That doesn't really matter. But then wrap it part way around the bend, just to give this fly a little bit of length. And then I'm going to wrap back up towards the bead. Next thing I'm going to put on is a piece of ultra wire. This is small silver. And again, just wrap it on there, make nice side-by-side -side wraps. I want a nice smooth body, and I want to lay that wire in a nice straight line down around the hook. Now, I'm just going to cover that hook up with a couple layers of this nano silk. Won't take, it won't make it too thick. I want to keep it thin. If you're using like 140 denier, you're going to make it thick quickly. So, I'm using a a lighter thread that I can get the color I want on there. I want this white because I want it to be a pearl color when I'm done. And you see, I just smoothed it out real nice and smooth is all I really did. Now I'm going to take those two strands of Flashaboo and I'm going to wrap those forward. Oops. Don't hit your hook. And I'm just going to cover the whole shank here with that pearl. You can use other colors underneath here and it'll give you a different look. I did a couple with yellow, they look pretty cool. And just wrap that right up to the bead and tie it off. Next thing we're gonna do is wrap our silver wire up here. We're gonna make nice evenly spaced wraps and get about four or five wraps up through there and then tie it off right behind the bead. Get that tied down good, a couple twists, and it'll snap right off for you. Helicopter it right off. Okay, now we're going to put the wing on this fly. For the wing, I'm using some spinning deer hair. This is bleached to keep with that nice light color. And I'm going to pinch out a section. I'll show you here. Oh, that's too much. I want to go less than that, so... About that much, like the width of the hook, maybe, you know, 
not real thick, way less than a pencil. And then you see the fluff in there, so I'm gonna take my comb, I'm just gonna brush that fluff out. And now, I got it by the butt sections here, by the tip sections I'm holding it, I say. I'm gonna switch it around, so I'm holding it, I want the butt sections off the back of the fly. And I wanna tie down with the tip sections out over the front. So I'm just gonna tie that down right behind the bead, make a loose wrap or two, and then make a couple of tight wraps through the hair to get it tied into position. And then I'm gonna try to get all the fibers back up on top again and get it wrapped down right behind that bead. So come in and whip finish. Okay, now I'm going to sort out the hair here, get those tips to the front, and I'm going to cut the tips off. I'm going to take my scissors, get right up against that bead, cut them tips off right up against the bead, make a nice head there. And then for the wing, I'm going to pull the rest of it, and I want to make just a little bit longer wing on the top. And then we're going to come in and trim off all the little stragglers and clean it up a little bit. So that looks pretty good there. Maybe a couple more there. So you got the nice little head against the bead and your small little wing there. You got a nice little midge bodied fly. So there, I like that a lot. Cool looking pattern, easy to tie. Okay guys, hope you liked that pattern. It was an easy one. And uh, like I said, drop me a comment. Let me know if you fish it, if you like this pattern what you think of it, that kind of stuff. I like responding to your, to your comments and stuff. It keeps things going on the channel and uh, you know keeps things rolling right along. So I have a lot of fun bringing these videos to you. And hey, if you have any suggestions, or if you wanna know how to tie something, you just can't figure it out, shoot me a message. I'll see if I can figure it out and do a video for it. And uh, I have fun doing that kind of stuff. I'm always trying to learn new patterns and new techniques. So. If you have any questions about this one or any other fly, please reach out to me at wholesingersflyshop at gmail.com. Uh, that's my email address. It goes right to me personally, not through the shop, and I'll get back to you right away. And um, if you didn't need any material, guys, like always, please head over to our website at wholesingersflyshop.com. So until next week when I bring you another video, I'm Sean Holsinger.